This morning, I just learned how to make my very first muzzle shot in DaVinci Resolve, which makes me qualified to teach it. Okay, you know what? We've waited long enough. To, it's taking too long to, to make a scene, so you just you just take it and, and shoot it. And say say hello to my little friend. You gotta say that. Say hello to my little friend and then shoot it. Say you got you gotta be like say hello to my little friend and you know. Can I shoot you? No, no, just 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 like a side profile like. Wait, wait, nope, lighting's messed up. Here, I'm gonna close this curtain. Okay, say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my little friend! The recoil's horrible. Too much recoil, it's just bam, bam. Little re recoil. No, that, did you see that recoil? I said no recoil, almost no recoil. That works, that works. Alright, so let's jump straight into the tutorial. Um, basically, in today's video, we are going to be putting in an overlay of the muzzle shot. Then we are going to be putting a smoke overlay on top of that. And then, as well as a sound of the shot being fired. And then we are also going to artificially light the scene to make it look like the muzzle has flashed. So, if I've learned anything from Corridor Crew for watching it for three days straight, muzzle flashes are big. So, right here in our timeline, I have uh, my brother shooting a gun here, and I have two, two of these are marked here. So, this is where he first fires the gun. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a muzzle flash that I got off the internet. So, with these, you'll find an image of a muzzle flash. You don't need a video because what I've learned about... Uh, quarter crew, they from quarter crew uh, is that muzzle flashes are literally just one frame. They are one flash, and they burn up so quickly. Sometimes the camera can't even capture all of them because they flash so quickly. So you just use a still image. If you're using like a video, it's not gonna look as real because muzzle flashes aren't animated. They're just one flash. The camera can't capture any more than that. So when you first drag it in, you're going to see it's black. Um, so to change that, you want to go over to our composite mode in our inspector area and change that to add. Now once you do that, uh, you'll see it's going to change. It's going to turn it into an overlay. Now if I close this real quick, everything looks pretty good. All right. Now if you just mirror this a little bit, I'm going to go over here and click the flip button because my brother's shooting this way. And I'm going to close this down, and that's going to be my muzzle flash. So with pistols, uh, the muzzle flash should be roughly the size of the gun. So I'm just going to put it like right there, and that looks pretty nice. So now I'm going to go down here, and I'm actually going to cut this so it's just one frame. And if we go right here, there we go, one frame. Perfect. Uh, well, actually, I don't think it is a frame. Nope, that's nowhere near one frame. All right, that is one frame. All right, All right once you have your actual muzzle flash in there, uh, you're going to want to put in your smoke. Now, my smoke actually has a uh, gun firing sound effect attached to it, so I'm just going to use that in this uh, video here. So if I put in my smoke here, there's my smoke. Now, what I don't like about this is the smoke stays around for a while. It should be a little bit faster and dissipate faster uh, according to corridor crew um, but for the sake of this tutorial it w looks okay if you even want you can have it fade out faster if you just uh, lower the opacity so let's go over here now of course click on it and go over to the inspector and change the composite mode to add now basically what add is doing it's making it so any bright areas will show through and basically where there's color now black which is the background doesn't stand for any color so that doesn't show through when you have a composite mode of add um, and then bright areas is where it's going to show through the most now uh, for smoke the nice thing about this now is if I'm going to flip this real quick uh, the smoke is kind of see-through so all right let's go ahead and that looks pretty nice I'm going to go ahead and spread this out just a tad and lower my opacity so the smoke fades out that looks pretty nice. Perfect. Now, the thing 
and that most people fail at here is when you need to now actually light the scene because this doesn't look right there's no this should be producing light for that split second so what I'm gonna do to make it easier on me is I'm gonna take my blade tool and I'm actually gonna go into my footage and cut one frame out here and that way I can just edit this one single frame in the color page so let's go over to the color page all right so here we are in the color page if you haven't worked with the color page before this should be relatively simple you want to click on this window to open up all of our uh, masks that we're going to be using and we want to click on the color wheels here to work with the color wheels now our node editor here you want to make sure also when you come into here have this clip selected and then also uh, in if you click on your timeline here or clips if you show your clips you want to make sure right now I'm actually on the gun flare so you want to make sure you are on the right footage uh, and if you click to open up the timeline make sure you have the correct cli clip selected so if I zoom in you can see this is my one small little frame here that I have selected alright so now that I have the right clip selected I like to divide it up into different serials so right here uh, this is a serial node so if you add a node here this is basically these are like layers if you haven't worked in a node based system before so basically this is our original clip then it goes through this filter then it goes through this filter and then this is our final output so I just added a new filter and now on this filter what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mess around with our lighting here now this is up to you I'm not very good at lighting this so I'm gonna go ahead and bring up our highlights though just from my experience and definitely bring up the shadows a little bit now right now it probably looks a little weird definitely bring up the contrast a little bit um, and then also I'm gonna give it a little bit of a yellow tint kind of a warmish tint because that's uh, the color of the f uh, muzzle flare or muzzle flash now right here I want to actually mask out the area where this light should be showing through. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a curve. So if you click to add a curve here, now I can st you'll see I can start drag drawing out the area that I want this to actually show through. So I want this to show through on my brother's face here. So it's only going to be towards the front of his face. So I'm doing a very cut a fast edit here. Um, so if I just draw this out right here, you can see now it only shows through the front. Now if you bring up the softness, bring up the softness a lot on on your masks because it makes the transition look a lot better and it can look really weird if you don't bring up the softness. Now the thing is we're not done here. Add another curve and there's definitely going to be a lot of light on his hand here. So if I grab that and I outline his hand there we go bring up the softness on this layer alright and then also I might want to bring up the highlights just a little bit here alright and then I'm gonna make another one add another curve and I'm going to outline the gun here alright and right here I want to add to the softness here then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add another filter. We're going to add another serial. Now this time what I like to do, oof, that's not looking too well at all. Now in this filter what I like to do is I go to our color picker here and I try to actually kind of grab certain areas of the clip and then kind of brighten them up just a little bit. So just add a little bit of kind of a tint bring up our shadows just a little bit whoa it's a little bit too much and let's see bring up the whole area this mask that I drew is absolutely horrible that I'm, now that I'm really looking at it so I'm gonna go ahead and just change it just a little bit um, I want to try to maybe bring up the softness a lot more on it yeah I'm gonna bring up the softness a ton um, because it's just not showing through really well um, then what I'm also going to do is this whole area needs to be lit up a little bit. So I'm going to add a circle and I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to give it a lot of softness again and I'm going to put it right here. Then I might even make another one. The thing is you want to make it just add light wherever there should be. So I think there's going to be a lot of light down here on the floor. 
uh, in this it's just gonna light up this darker area here so if I just bring this up now definitely bring up the softness a lot more right here um, I want to try to make this as soft as I can might even bring it down just a little bit and there we go now we have a nice better uh, glow that's going around here and I might even just make it a little bigger increase the softness and that's starting to look pretty nice so now if we actually go into our edit page There we go. Um, it gives it a nice little uh, flash. So you can see that's looking pretty good. Um, now keep adjusting it. It definitely takes a little work for me. I'm new at this. Um, <laughs> I'm new at this. But what you want to do is, uh, for example, this isn't looking too good. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that max down a little bit. And then also I might uh, duplicate it a little bit. And let me see. I'll make another one. And light up this area over here a little bit too because of the back wall here so I'm gonna make this a really big mask but keep it out of the way as well so there we go so if we go back and actually look at our final product it doesn't look too bad it adds a, a little bit of artificial light here and it comes out okay alright so I'm gonna go ahead and keep messing with this just a little bit until I get it perfect all right, so welcome back. So basically, this is my final result here. So after working with it uh, for a little while, I decided to mess with the softness of each one. Uh, I decided to kind of move around the masks. That way, it looks like the light source was coming straight from this area and not from this area. And I decided to kind of uh, mess with the different softness and uh, places to put these masks. That way, it looks a little bit better. Um, and then the final thing that I like to do... Uh, if this window didn't come across too well I like to select a little bit of kind of reflective areas with the color picker and kind of just brighten up those areas so you can see uh, it's kind of brightening up the whole room a little bit in certain areas that I picked with my color picker so that's what this second mask does so if we go back to our final area here and we play there we go, we can see a pretty nice little flash, and it looks pretty decent. So, I hope this tutorial helped. Um, obviously, these are not the best conditions to put it in. Um, sorry, I've been a little rushed with this tutorial, trying to get it out there. Um, so, definitely keep working with it until you are really happy with the different results that you get. And, overall, I hope you come out with something great. So, if this helped... Please subscribe and please press that little bell. That way you get a notification whenever I make a new tutorial. And also share the video if it was really helpful. And I hope you make something awesome. Alright, bye.